What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and we finally got the Frig costume, so of course today I'm going to break her down and give her a grade. But first, download Bloodline Heroes of Lithus, a mobile RPG action fighting game where you can marry your champions to create new and unique hybrids. Use the link in the description to start with some free stuff, including gold and diamonds. And I'd be honored to have you join my server so you can play alongside me. Simply click on your profile, settings, then change your server to S462. See you hopefully soon. Alright, so this is going to be a pretty quick video because the costume Frigg is not all that different from the regular side of Frigg. Except the art, which is different. I'll put it that way. I mean, there are some other differences too. We're going to take a look at them. And one of them is the class. She is now a wizard class if you're going to use the side of the costume. Um, on, on the regular side, uh, she was a rogue. And the rogue is a lot better than the wizard class. You know how annoying it is when you're just trying to kill that darn frig before she goes off. And then the rest of their team wrecks yours. And she dodges it right so um this is a downgrade as far as class goes uh of course she's still going to get that elfheim realm which is uh, all allies are healed by two four seven percent when an elfheim hero reaches low health and then there's the costume bonus so this is a benefit of having the costume but do remember if you level the costume side the regular side is going to get that bonus too which is really really nice and the bonus is uh, an increase of attack of 5%, defense 5%, health 10%, and mana 5%. And the mana is probably the best part of that. Uh, looking at the base stats with the max power preview on, that's 965 attack, 926 defense, and 1680 HP. If we turn that off, it's 795 attack. So it's a pretty high attack and a pretty high defense too, 793 and 1449 HP. So really well balanced base stats and actually all pretty high for this day and age so i like to see that i'm gonna flip this max power preview back on because i always like to look at these heroes from like uh if you're going to throw all your resources in it kind of perspective is it going to be worth it uh brittling burst is the special at fast speed deals 90 percent damage to all enemies as compared to 100 percent on the other side deals additional 18 percent damage per each nature shield on the board up to 234 percent damage in total so it was also 18% before, um, but up to 244 before. All enemies get negative 12% defense and a further negative 3% decrease per each nature shield on the board for three turns up to negative 48% defense. Um, and so that negative 48% defense and actually the negative 12% per uh, shield um, or negative 12% plus the negative 3% per shield is higher than what we saw on the other side, which was negative 8% to start with and negative 44 to end with. So you're getting a little boost to the defense debuff here, which I like. And uh, that's a really strong effect and it's what made Frigg, you know, so good all along. It's mainly, you know, Frigg goes off at fast speed and gives everybody defense down and then the other heroes go off. They can just blow up a team. So, um, is the costume better than the regular side? Because, I mean, it's just so similar. Like, the special, for all intents and purposes, is, like, the same. They just changed some of the numbers a little bit. Well, I don't know. I think I'd still go with the regular side if I was putting her on defense because that rogue class is just so valuable. But if I were going on offense where the AI on the opposing side is choosing who to target for damage and things like that, I might go with the costume on offense. So this is where I'd kind of split my focus a little bit. And that's because I think rogue does matter when the hero is on defense more than it matters when you're on offense. Of course, you're going to be saved by um, saved by it as well on offense if you have it. But I just really like when you're trying to be more aggressive and you're trying to be more offensive, getting just a little bit more of that defense to buff on your side. So uh, I think that I... Like I said, I'm going to split my attention between the two, regular side on defense, costume side on offense. Um, but overall, I, I think that Frigg's still a good hero, but has kind of been passed by a lot of the overpowered heroes coming out. So, you know, while Frigg back in the day was an A, she is not anymore. And I don't think the costume's any better than she was before. And they probably did that on purpose because she was already strong. But, you know, she's... She's kind of getting passed by now. She's still going to be good. Don't get me wrong. She's still going to be good. 
But in this day and age, I have to give her an A minus. So, you know, I, I would actually probably rate her lower, but she is getting the costume bonus. So because she's getting the costume bonus, you know, I've, I've bumped her back up from maybe being like a B plus two in A minus. You can just do so much with that costume bonus. Um, but the regular side is going to get it too. The best thing about the costumes, of course, is the choice you get on the side that you use. Um, and that choice is just really invaluable. But let me know what you think about her in the comments and uh, the art as well. I'm curious what this art is all about. If anybody happens to know, please share. <laughs> and if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And I will catch you in the next one.